So for the food industry, basically for implementing personalized nutrition, they need to consider what are the publication, what are the published articles that can be reliable. So there are several articles. If you go into the PubMed search and you search for the gene diet interaction, you'll come across nearly 80,000 articles on gene diet interactions on various chronic disease outcomes, and half of which might not be a true positive finding. So you need to take into consideration of the number of genes that are being analyzed for a disease such as obesity, and which is a multifactorial disease, and multiple factors, multiple genes, and various lifestyle factors are being involved. So you need to know what are the genes that are contributing to obesity, for which you need to start analyzing a panel of genes rather than just looking at one or two genes. And secondly, the lifestyle factors. We don't know what are the lifestyle factors that are contributing in, with respect to each of these genetic variants, whether it's that physical activity, or whether it's dietary intake, or smoking, or tobacco chewing. So there are various environmental stimuli which needs to be taken into account in terms of implementing personalized nutrition through nutrigenetics and nutrigenomics approach. So these publications need to be carefully chosen before thinking about personalized nutrition and that is the role of the food industry to consider which are the ones which can be relied.